Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey and here's a quick video to help you choose the correct Unity version for your project. The way versions are set up is actually some quite simple logic, but can also be a bit confusing for a beginner, so let's see. If you want the quick and easy answer, just go with the latest LTS version. But for more detail, keep watching the video. One quick note here, the important takeaway from this video are the categories and what they mean. The specific versions that I'm going to mention are just examples, but the categories in which they fit is the important part, which should still be relevant even if you're watching this many months or years in the future. So first let me cover the naming scheme. The first part is the year when that version was first released. The second part is the major version number. Then it's the minor version along with the state, alpha, beta or final. At any given point in time, there are usually three versions you can choose. At the time of this recording, you have 2019.4, 2020.2 and 2021.2. Those fall into three categories. You have long-term support, tech and preview. Now you might think that the best version to choose is the very last one, however that's not exactly right. The very last version, which as of right now is 2021.2, is in the alpha or beta stage meaning that it's potentially unstable, so it should only be used if you want to help Unity with their beta testing program. Which, by the way, they also have some nice prizes to give away if you do manage to find a bug. So this version represents the future, and since it's an alpha or beta version, it is potentially unstable. After that comes the tech release, which as of the time of this recording is 2020.2. This one is more stable than the alpha or beta versions, but still potentially unstable as it is constantly receiving new features and updates. This one contains lots of preview packages so that people can test them, although again that comes at the cost of potential instability. And finally you have the LTS version or long term support. This is the most stable version possible. This version has gone through rigorous extensive testing to ensure everything works perfectly and all of the validated packages work correctly without any issues. The only updates this version gets are bug fixes. It does not get any new features after it goes into LTS. Unity keeps actively supporting their versions for two years after release, so you will find two separate LTS versions. Right now you can use 2019.4 LTS or 2018.4 LTS. Also one quick note regarding the LTS major version number. Previously Unity was making four major releases per year, with the last one being the LTS version. So that is why you have 2018.4 and 2019.4, those are the LTS versions. However, last year they switched to only three major releases per year in order to make each release more stable. So that means that in a few months, when 2020 goes into LTS, it will be 2020.3 LTS. So putting all of this together, how do you choose a Unity version is very simple. Do you want to help Unity with their beta testing program? If so, then choose the preview version. Otherwise, ask yourself, what does your project require? Does your project absolutely require features which are currently in preview and only available in the tech version? So for example, is your game dependent on something like Unity Dots? If so, then you do need to use the tech version. But do ask yourself if you absolutely need those features. In the vast majority of cases, your game will not be pushing the limits of what is possible, so you should be using the LTS versions. And if there are multiple LTS versions available and you're just starting out, then simply choose the latest LTS version. That is why, even though we're already in the middle of 2021, I am still using 2019.4 on my projects. That's because it's the most stable version, and most of the things that I cover are normal things which do not require anything special. However, as an example, I've also done some machine learning videos. Those are indeed on the bleeding edge, so for those I did use 2020, because that's what the package requires. Whenever 2020 enters LTS, then I will switch into using that version. Also, you can have multiple versions installed. Here in the Unity Hub, you can go into Install, and here you see all of the available versions that I just mentioned. And here you can see that I have quite a lot of them installed at the same time. And if you have more than one, then when you go into create a new project, you can click on the arrow icon, and this lets you choose specifically which version you want to use to create the new project. Also somewhat related to the Unity version are the package versions, so let me quickly mention them as well. On the packages you also have three states. You have preview, released, and verified. Preview packages, like the name implies, are in active development and should only be used to preview what's coming in the future. In order to even see the preview packages, you need to go into the options to show the preview packages. And if you install any of them, you will also see a big button letting you know that you are using preview packages which might be unstable. Then you have released packages, they have gone through preview and are considered stable. And after that you have verified packages. These are just like the LTS versions. They have gone through extensive rigorous testing with a specific Unity version to ensure maximum stability. So when it comes to packages, ideally you should be using the verified packages combined with the Unity version they were verified for. 
but in my experience the fully released packages are also very stable so don't worry about using those. And again, the preview packages are only meant for testing and researching the feature of the engine. So just to reiterate on how to choose a Unity version, the alpha or beta versions are meant only for testing. If you want to be an active tester, then use those, but if you just want to make games, then don't touch them. Then comes the tech version. If you want to experiment with the bleeding edge of tech and see what the feature won't be like, then do use those. But again, if you just want to make games, then don't. Finally, the LTS version. In 99% of cases, this is what you should be using since it will do everything you want to do and it will have the utmost stability. All right, hope that helped you understand how Unity versions work. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.